With several FIFA officials from the Caribbean and Latin America being named into the embarrassing corruption scandal, it may not come as a surprise that six banks from the region have been tallied in the mix. The regional banks listed as having completed wire transfers of large sums for the defendants in the FIFA scandal are First Caribbean International Bank Bahamas, Barclays and Fidelity's Bank in the Cayman Islands, and First Citizens Bank, Intercommercial Bank and Republic Banks in Trinidad and Tobago. The six banks have not been charged with any regulatory violation or crime. However, the involvement of First Caribbean International Bank in the indictment is noted as a conspirator, offering a very personalized service to Chuck Blazer on landing in the Bahamas. Questions surround the banks allegedly offering a representative to collect and deposit a check of 250,000 US dollars made out to Caribbean Football Union CFU from Blazer at the airport. Meanwhile, on Friday, the Bankers Association of Trinidad and Tobago, with three members implicated in the issue, stated that it remains committed to working with local and foreign regulators and law enforcement agencies as the investigation progresses. On the other side of the globe, three banks in England, Barclays, Standard Charters and HSBC, have launched internal investigations into transactions linked to alleged corrupt payments by FIFA officials, as outlined in the U.S. indictment.